Hey, what's up, fellas? This right here is a massive burner that I'm building for Dave in Alaska. Now, we've seen this burner before. It was supposed to be headed to Kentucky, but things changed on us, and it ended up hanging around. So, Dave decided to take it off my hands. They've got a project that requires a massive burner. So, this is the setup that we've got going on here. And we're gonna burn four gallons of oil in about eight minutes. And that'll do a 55 gallon drum every 1.8 hours. So, monstrous amount of energy here. So if we were to look at this from a steam engine equivalent, guys, this would be a 1,400 horsepower steam engine running right here in front of your eyes. So if you wanted a 1,000 horsepower steam engine on, say, a big boat or like a battleship, this is the fireball. This is a one megawatt fireball, and it's burning through some fuel pretty quick. That, that pump is at full power. Got the air turned up all the way as well. not that loud at all it's so hot I can feel the heat from here just about out of oil Alright fellas, in case you're wondering what all the odd shapes and strange structures on this burner are all about, I'm going to talk about that for a second. Because this thing was intended to burn waste oil, we wanted some preheated hot air going into this thing to kind of help vaporize that oil a little bit. So those long runs that you see on the outside of the burner are actually intake shrouds that bring in intake air through the Ventura effect and that air passes over the burner itself to preheat that air and it's drawn into that back box. So let's take a look inside of the back of that box. Now the Ventura effect will draw air into those through those small holes and into a couple of pipe ducts that you can barely see. I'll try and zoom in on one here. But uh, that's how the air is getting pulled in, and it does pull a pretty powerful draft. This top cap will cover that back plate off, so the air is only going to pass through these small holes that we see here, and another top cap goes on top of that. So this here is the Ventura test, where I'm going to take a smoking stick and show that this thing does actually draw air.
So that's working out really well. The Ventura system is working amazing. And what that does is provide some extremely hot air for our nozzle zone. Otherwise it'd be kind of a vacuum in there. So even with these leaks, we still get one heck of a draft out of there. I'm impressed with how well this is doing. To kind of up the power on this thing, I'm gonna cut this grate out so that it's a straight air vent. This is restricting the performance of this blower big time. So uh, that's essentially what I had to do. I had to cut this old stuff off of here. a vacuum blower hooked up these leaf blowers have far more power than the vacuum blowers they may not be able to pull as large of a vacuum like let's say if you were to put a vacuum duct on the end of this and put a vacuum gauge on it those three stage vacuum compressors would outperform this in that sense but as far as throwing air down range this thing is a beast if you're ever looking for a good blower <clears throat> I think this thing's like an $80 leaf blower or something, maybe cheaper. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple more tack welds to this. Wanted to kind of make everything look like that, I think. And uh, get this thing set up on a stand. And we're gonna get an oil pump hooked up to it. All right, guys, I'll never get over how easy it is to light this thing. You can light it with a handheld propane torch. I just uh, brought this one out just in case the waste oil wouldn't light for some reason. I've never ran this on full synthetic waste oil before. And the rest of this footage is just kind of for you guys uh, there in Alaska if you want to validate the actual time. This is the total GoPro footage. Nothing really exciting happens in the rest of this. I'm just kind of monitoring the process. But for the next eight minutes or so, this is just the entire burn of that four gallon drum and it uh, completely burns it all so definitely worked out you would want to implement a flame target when you guys go to use this thing i would um, set it about six inches off the ground on some cinder blocks when i ran it to fire you so that the flame is almost touching the ground and what that would do is heat the ground up really hot and if there was any secondary spray, um, it would vaporize that because you got to remember sometimes waste oil is usually a concoction of anything that falls out of a car engine when they work on it. So that could be water, antifreeze, brake fluid, you name it. So a flame target is going to ensure that everything vaporizes and you don't have any residue on the ground. Even like this, it doesn't leave anything on the ground. That smoke you see on the ground is just steam coming up because the, the heat coming off of this flame is so intense. That's it's incredible. like being by a campfire that you can't stand next to. It really is hotter than a normal fire. It's not quite like a campfire. It's, it's brighter than it looks on camera and it really does kick off enough heat where you can't stand by it for too long. So. I'm going to shut up and uh, get this video sent your way. And hopefully this thing works out great for you guys. It'll burn more than this if you hook another fuel pump up to it. If you hook two of them up in tandem, either in parallel or in series, you can get this thing to burn even more. That's, that's all this particular pump will do, though. 